Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am here doing an update today <laughs> on all the series that I'm in the middle of. So in March this year, I uploaded a video going through all the series that I'm currently in the middle of. Um, I'm gonna, at the end of this video, say like how many series I was in the middle of in March and how many I am now. The only thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna go into detail about what the series are all about because I've done that in the first video. So if you want to know a bit more about my actual thoughts on the series, what the series are about, I'd recommend watching that one first for a bit of context. I'm only really going to speak in this video about the series that have changed status in some way. So to help me with this, I have my trusty laptop with my Excel spreadsheet and I went through this earlier and updated it because it was I, I just had to just like scroll through Goodreads and figure stuff out so that would have been boring to watch. So I've updated the spreadsheet and I'm now going to talk you through all of the updates or sometimes lack thereof <laughs> that we have in relation to all the series that I'm in the middle of. So, the first one that there has been some kind of change in is the Rebel Blue Ranch series. So, since the first video another book has been released and I have read it. So I'm still up to date on the series, I've just read another book in it if that makes sense. So we're still kind of in the same place but I have read another book in the series. It's not gotten away from me, if you know what I mean. The next one that's had a change is The Campus Diaries by Elle Kennedy and The Late From Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. Both of those have had a new book release that I haven't read yet but I do own them both and I do plan to read them very soon. I'm just trying to get to some books that I've owned for a very long time first but I definitely do plan to read both of those and as I said I do own them both so it shouldn't be too long before I am back up to date with those two series. And then the next one that we've had a change in is the Windy City series. I've read the fourth book now, so I'm up to date. There are only four books released. I thought there was only gonna be four books. There isn't, there now seems to be another one on Goodreads that doesn't have a cover or anything yet. So it seems the series is still ongoing, so I'm not done with it, but I am up to date with it. And I'd love to play along, please go read it. it that series, by the way, is by Liz Tomford. It's a fantastic sports romance series. The next one that's been a change in is the When in Rome series. I think it is going to be a bigger series. There's only two books out at the moment. Last video I'd only read one of them and I've now read two. So I'm up to date with that one whereas I wasn't last time. The next one, The Stolen Air. Is it going to be a duology? I think so but who knows. Holly Black might choose to keep releasing books in this universe. I love the Cruel Prince trilogy. I didn't love the first Stolen Air book but the second one has now been released. I do own it. And I have an audiobook copy coming in from my library in a couple of months. So I'm not going to get to that one yet. I think I'm just going to wait for the audio because it'll make it easier to read. Because <laughs> as I said, I didn't love the first one. So I'm not super duper excited about that one. But I do own it so it will get read at some point. The next one has been quite a big change. So the Throne of Glass series. Last video I still had seven books left in the series. Now I've only got three. So we're doing all right there. We're making good headway with the Throne of Glass series. And yeah, I've got three books left and they are the three biggest, The Tandem Read and then Kingdom of Ash, but nonetheless, we've only got three. <laughs> the next one, I've actually completed a series that is done and dusted and that is the Summer I Turned Pretty series. So all the books, as we know of so far, are released. It's just a trilogy and I've read them all. Didn't enjoy it, but I read them all. <laughs> so that is a series completely fully ticked off, which is very nice. Again, we've got another series fully ticked off, the Knock Em Out trilogy. I finally read, what's it called? I can't remember the title. I love the series, but I get the titles mixed up. The third one, Lucian and Sloane's book. Read it, loved it. Series, as of now, of what we know, is complete. So that's very satisfying. <laughs> the next one, again, I've made quite a big headway. The Addicted Calloway Sisters series. Same as Throne of Glass. Last we spoke, I had seven books left, and now I've got three technically three and a half because I'm in the middle of Addicted after all but I plan to finish that in the next couple of days so when I finish that one because I do very much plan to finish it I will have three books left which is exciting. I feel like that's quite a big jump because some of these books in those series are quite big so I think I've done quite well. The next change we've had is what is it called? The Treasure State Wildcats. There's been a new release that I haven't read. To be honest I might in the next one of these updates at the end of the year, DNF that series, I hated the first book. But I only hated it because of the characters. It's by Devney Perry for context. 
And some of Daphne Perry's books are some of my favourites, but then some of her books I really don't like, such as Coach, which is the first book in this series. So I'm not rushing to read the second one, but I think it is on Kindle Unlimited. So I'll probably give that one a go, see how I feel about the second one, and then we may end up DNFing. So far, I know that there's going to be four books in this series, but they might end up being more, I don't know. But as of on Goodreads at the moment, there are four, but only two are released. So I'm not up to date with that one because of the new release. <laughs> Next one we've had a change in is the Lancaster Prep series. This is like a million kisses in your lifetime, is that what the book's called? That series. And I've decided to DNF. I liked the first book fine, but I think when I read it a couple of years ago, I was already kind of pushing the age bracket. I do find it uncomfortable to read books that are about younger characters if the book has smut in it. Like, I just find it... I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just saying I find it uncomfortable as a grown adult. And I think, I read it when I was a little bit younger, but even then I was pushing the uncomfortableness that I felt. And I just don't really have any interest in reading the rest of it. Like, the book was fine, but there's nothing in me that really wants to read any of the others. I just don't really care about them, so I have decided to DNF that series. The next one there's been a change in is the Love Light Farms series, or is it just the Love Light series? I can't remember. By B.K. Borison, I believe. And I've read the second one. So I've still got two books left, but last we spoke, I'd only read the first one. I've now read the second one. This is one of those series I definitely see myself finishing, but because they're interconnected standalones and they're just like cute, cosy romances, I'm not like in a rush. I'm not compelled, do you know what I mean? Not because I don't like them, but just because it's not like big cliffhangers and stuff. So I'll definitely finish those at some point, I just don't know when. <laughs> the next one is another series I've decided to DNF and that is the One of Us is Lion series. There's just too many books being released in this series and I just don't really have an interest. The first one was okay, the second one was okay and then I just, I don't know, I just kind of, I think, is it only a trilogy? I think there's loads of spin-offs and things that keep being released and I don't, care enough about the series to try and keep up with all that or really read any more of the books. Again, they were fine, but like, there's so many books in the world I want to read, I don't need to be reading ones that are just fine. <laughs> so that is a DNF. We've got another two series that I've decided to DNF. First one is the Tilly and the Book Wanderers series. This isn't because it's bad. It's a gorgeous middle grade fantasy series. And how many have I read? I think I've read two of them. And it's like a six book series last time I checked. And they are amazing, they are beautiful books, but as an adult I feel like I've got all I need to get out of them reading two, if that makes sense. I don't feel the need to read the other four. I think, I don't know, I just, I've got the cosy vibes that I wanted from them, I just don't really need to read the rest. Again, I'm not compelled because it's middle grade, they're just cute, cosy, middle grade fantasies. If I'm ever in the mood for that again, I know I can go back to the series and pick one up, but as of now I don't really plan to. But if you are in the mood for a middle grade or you're a younger reader, I would 1000% recommend the Tilly and the Book Wanderer series. It is a beautiful series for people who love reading. The next one, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I've only read the first one. I liked it, but there was something that happened in it that was like traumatising and I really hated it to do with a dog. Um, I hated that. So it's kind of put me off. And I know that thing probably won't happen again in the series, but I've heard the series gets quite dark and that's not really the vibe I'm looking for at the moment. So I've decided that as of now, I don't plan to continue that series. Even though I've heard it's really good, it's just not what I'm looking to read. It's not the kind of mood that I'm in. Again, my mind could always change on any of these in the future, but as of now, I'm pretty sure. I read the first one quite a while ago, like two, two or more years ago. So it's like if I was going to carry on, I probably would have done it by now. The next one is yet another series that I've decided to DNF. <laughs> And it's the Girl of Paper and Fire series. I've only read the first one and it was okay, but I'm not compelled. I don't care about the story enough to read the next one, to be honest. Like, yeah, it was fine, but I just, there's nothing in me that cares to read <laughs> any more of it, unfortunately. And then there's another series that I've decided to un-DNF. So in the last video, I said I probably wouldn't carry on with the Raven Boys series, but I've changed my mind. I think I liked that book more than I thought I did at the time. And I am kind of interested. It's definitely not a priority at the top of my TBR and I might decide again in the future. Actually, you know what, no, I'm not that bothered. But I liked it more than I liked Girls of Paper and Fire. I read them at the same time. Obviously not literally at the same time. I mean like in the same week <laughs> I read them. And I'm actually a lot more interested in the Raven Boys than the other books I read around that time. So I've decided to un-DNF that one for now. I might end up carrying on with it if I can get hold of like the audio books through the library or something. And then... 
Guys, I've started a lot of new series. So all of the next ones I'm going to talk about are all new from the last video. <laughs> oh, which is literally the opposite of the point. But I can't lie. So, <sighs> Serpent and Dove, I started reading the first book two, two, three years ago. Didn't finish it because I didn't like it. Picked it up a couple of months ago for a reading books I've DNF'd. Finished it hated it, will not be carrying on with the series. So yes, I started a new series, but I've already DNF'd the series, so it's fine. <laughs> and then similarly with the next one, Light Lark, I read the first one, didn't have a clue what was going on, didn't care, so I've DNF'd the series, I won't be carrying on with Light Lark. And then three series that, well, two that I'm definitely gonna carry on with, and one that I probably will. So the first one, The Powerless Trilogy by Lauren Roberts, trilogy and novella, so like 3.5 books. I've read the first one and the novella and recently, like two weeks ago, the second full length novel came out and I do already own it. It's on my TBR for this month. So I'm hoping by the end of this month, I will be up to date with that series. The next one, Boys of Tommen. There's gonna be quite a few more released, but as of the ones released now, I have only Tame and Seven left to read. And I do have the audiobook, so I'll probably listen to that maybe this month, maybe next month, I'm not sure, but soon I will again be up to date. And then the next one's definitely not a priority because I hated the first book and it's the Gold Rush Ranch series by Elsie Silver. The reason I'm not DNFing it even though I hated the first book is because they are interconnected standalones rather than a continuous series and the reason I hate the first book so much was because of the male main character, not because of the writing or the setting or anything like that, it was just him. So I feel like I should give at least one other book in the series a chance because I love Elsie Silver's other books, particularly Chestnut Springs, I adore that one. So I feel like I should give it a chance and not write the whole series off just because of one man who is fictional. <laughs> the next one, two, three, four are again series that I've started and will not be continuing with. I'm being a lot more ruthless because I want to enjoy reading. I don't want to force myself to finish series just because I have like completion anxiety. I'm trying to get rid of that. And if I'm not enjoying a series, I'm not going to read it just because I feel like I have to. So I started these and DNF'd them. So the first one is The Housemaid. I really didn't like this. It's a very popular book. It's a thriller. And a lot of people really love it and I just didn't. So therefore I have no interest in reading the rest of the series at all. <laughs> the next one, This Woven Kingdom by Tah Tahira Murphy. Now, this is the same author of the Shatter Me series, which is one of my favourite series that I've ever read. But this was very different. This was a fantasy rather than like a fantasy dystopia. And I just feel like it wasn't for me. It was slow, but not in a slow, cosy fantasy type of way. It was like it was still trying to be this big, suspenseful, like, kingdom fantasy. But it, I just found it really slow. And again, there's so many books out there I want to read. I don't need to be reading one that makes me feel a bit bored. It's the Divine Rivals duology. I hope, pray, that this is gonna be more than a duology. I don't think it is, but anything that this woman releases, especially in the fantasy genre, I will read it because I'm obsessed with the Divine Rivals duology. The covers are beautiful, the story's beautiful, the characters are beautiful, the writing is beautiful. Everything about it, chef's kiss, obsessed. We've now got another four that I started in DNF. <laughs> Can you tell I'm being more ruthless because I don't just want to sit in the middle of series that I feel indifferent about. The first one is the Crave series. There's too many books. The books are massive and there's six of them. I have no interest. The first one was fine. It was quite fun. I gave it three stars. It was like a, a silly little vampire book. Again, fun, fine while I was reading it, but I have no interest in reading six of them. Next one is the Never After series. Is it by Emily McIntyre? I've read Hooked, which is the first one. Again, it was fine. I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it or especially didn't love it but it was okay again I just have no interest in reading kind of more of the same in that universe it's just not necessarily for me <sighs> and then the next one makes me sad because it's by Alice Oseman and I have never DNF'd anything by Alice Oseman I didn't DNF this book but I am DNFing the series because I know it's going to be one and it makes me sad because I just want to read everything she puts out but I don't like the characters, I don't like the story, and it's the I was born for this series. I don't know how many books are going to be in it, I've just heard on the grapevine that it is going to be a bit of a series. It's the first time I've not loved characters written by Alice Oseman, and I just, I found it a very problematic book. 
I think even that basically the point of the book is that like obsessive fan culture and like over the top fangirling can be very dangerous and I don't mean like being a fan like I'm a Swifty for example but to it can get obviously to a level where it's dangerous and it's weird and it's obsessive and the point of this book is to kind of show that but I felt like at the end of the book the characters were still weird and obsessive <laughs> I don't feel like they had enough character growth so I didn't like them so therefore I don't really have any interest in continuing unfortunately and then the last one that I've read and DNF'd is Ready Player One. I DNF'd the book. I didn't even finish the first one. I hated it. It had so many things wrong with it. Very problematic. Not good writing either. Really had nothing going for it for me. So I absolutely will not be continuing in that series. And then the last new series that I've started is Legends and Lattes, which is currently a duology. With like It's got like a small novella, but the novella is just at the back of the first book. So I've read those, the first book and the novella, and then I just need to read Bookshops and Bone Dust, which I definitely plan to do. I loved Legends and Lattes, it was so cute. I'm very excited to read the other one. Why is Next Door hammering? It's very inconsiderate. Anyway, I'm very excited to read the next one. I just haven't got around to it yet, but yeah, I definitely plan to read that one quite soon. So, before I reveal the stats of where we are numbers wise, I've selected a few series that I plan to have finished or read and decided to not continue with by the end of the year. So the first one is the Dirty Air series. I've read the first one, DNF the second and third one, but everyone loves the fourth one. So still in some level of stupidity, I still want to give the fourth book a go. <laughs> so I'll either read it in DNF or I'll read it and love it. Either way, I want to try the fourth book in that series just so it's not sat hanging over my head any longer. The next one is the Eden series by Devney Perry. I DNF'd the fifth book, but because it's interconnected standalones like Dirty Air, yeah, you can get away with DNFing one and carrying on. And I only have one book left, so again, I might as well just try it. I've heard that the sixth book isn't the best thing in the world, but it's better than the fifth one. So again, I at least want to give that one a go and either DNF it or hopefully finish it and complete that series. The next one is The Stolen Air. Because it's only a duology and I've already read the first one and I own the second one, and I have a library hold of the audiobook coming in. I definitely want to finish that duology by the end of the year. Throne of Glass, we have three books left. And same as with Addicted Callaway, three books left in each of those. I want to finish both of those series. That would make me feel very accomplished because they're both quite big, chunky series. So I would like to finish both of those by the end of the year. And then Daughter of Smoke and Bone, I hated the first book, but I own physical copies of the next two. So again, I'm going to try the second one. And if I DNF it, that is perfectly okay, but I at least need to try it. And then if I don't enjoy them, I can donate them to someone else who might, instead of them just sitting on my shelf. <laughs> and then the Kiss Quotient. I liked the first one, but I'm really struggling to get through the second one, to be honest. Um, but again, I'm going to try and push through or decide to DNF. Either way, I want to have made a decision on that series by the end of the year. And then the last one is Legends and Lattes, that's an easy one, because Bookshops and Bone Dust, A, I'm excited about, and B, isn't a very long book either. So I want to have finished that series by the end of the year. So, on to the stats. So in March, I had 31 series that I was in the middle of that were completed. So series that I can finish because all the books are out and just by my own choice hadn't finished them. <laughs> and then I had 13 series that I was up to date with, but that had further books coming out. So I was still in the middle of the series, but there wasn't anything I could do about it because the books hadn't been released. Now, as of August, <laughs> obviously I've started quite a lot of new series. So I'm just gonna say the numbers and then explain myself. So I'm now in the middle of 30 completed series. However, that's only one less, but they're not the same series. They're series that I've started and that I actually plan to finish, <laughs> most of them anyway. Whereas in March, I was in the middle of a lot of series that I just didn't like. Whereas now I've decided to DNF those and I've started new series that I'm actually excited about. So yes, I'm still in the middle of 30 incomplete se no, completed series that I haven't completed yet. Does that make sense? Like where all the books are released, I just haven't read them. But I actually have a plan to read them. <laughs> so we're in, a better, we're in a better place. And then I'm in the middle of 10 uncompleted series, which again... There's obviously not a great deal I can do about that because the books haven't been released. So the numbers are lower. We're in the middle of less series. 
And I feel like we're just in a better place because I'm actually more excited about a lot of the series that I'm in the middle of. And I've got, like, I'm near the end of some quite big series now. So I feel like I've definitely made headway. We're in a good place. Not numbers wise, but we're in a good place emotionally. In terms of how many series I'm in the middle of. <laughs> so yeah, that is where we're at just over midway through the year. We will do another one of these at the end of the year and see if I've achieved my goals and see if <laughs> I've actually managed to finish any of this series that I have planned to finish by the end of the year. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!